everyone, it's Tim Holtz and I'm here at Sizzix headquarters, really excited to introduce you to the Sizzix Sidekick for alterations. The cool thing about this little machine is it's very concise and everything you need to get started is in one box. The machine itself is in here, but also all of the accessories to kind of get you started on your whole creative process. It includes the two cutting pads that you need, an embossing pad because this also has the ability to emboss, some starter thinlet dies, an embossing folder, just a small texture fade, a great technique book and some stamps to coordinate. And what's nice about this machine, of course, is it is creative convenience. That's really what it's all about because in addition to its whole portability, you can see that in relation to scale because I love my Vagabond, I do. I use it for so many different things, but sometimes I just want the creative convenience of cutting out smaller elements. And that's really what the Sidekick allows me to do. And you can see here that this is another overview of everything that comes in that box. You have your Sidekick machine, You've got your cutting pads here. There's your embossing pad. Now these pads are specially designed for this Sidekick machine to allow you to emboss and of course cut with thin dies. There's also a clear stamp set. Just an assortment of some thin dies. I did a tag and some numbers because to me, you can use those all year long for so many different projects. And of course, an embossing folder, a little texture fade that's going to add some interest and coordinate with the dies and the stamps. Now, what's also really great is you have this little starter book and the starter book is just going to give you kind of that whole starting point of how to do the basics, the cut, the emboss. But in addition to just your basics, there's also, if you flip it over, a whole tips and technique guide. And this is going to give you all these ideas of different tips and techniques you can do with the contents of the Sizzix Sidekick Bundle, which is really, really cool to use. So let me demo this and show you how everything works because it couldn't be easier, that's for sure. All right, so when we work with the Sidekick, you wanna make sure that you're working on a smooth surface because the bottom of this has this kind of suction cup. And you can use this on the right or the left, whether you're right-handed or left-handed, you can flip this machine around to whatever works best for you. But once you place it on that smooth surface, there's a lever here on the side that you're just going to flip to engage the machine and I'll show you that. So just place it down, put the lever down, and now this is secure to the work surface. That makes it really convenient. Now when it comes to cutting things out, the thing that you need to remember when it comes to working with this small machine is the size of what you can cut out. You need to make sure that the dies are two and a half by four and a half or smaller because it needs to fit on the surface of your cutting pads. And we've kept it really, really simple. So let me just show you how easy it is to cut something out. I'm just going to take my die, just take the cardstock, and I'm just going to place it down onto a cutting pad, place the die face down over the material and you can face it straight or angled. It doesn't matter as long as it's going to fit there. And then we're going to take our second cutting pad and put this on the top. Now, when you engage it into the machine, you're simply going to press that in and you'll see that the handle wants to automatically come to you in the direction that you need to turn it. So once I engage this, I'm simply going to start turning this. You can rest your hand on the top if you want, but remember that suction cup is right there on the surface and you're just gonna run that through. And just like that, we had the ability to cut out the shape, just like that. And what's nice about this, as I mentioned creative convenience, you know, even if you have one of the larger machines like the Vagabond or the Big Shot, Sometimes if you just wanna cut out something small, you don't wanna to have to get all those things out or worry about running through that really long cutting pad that comes with the larger machines. The creative convenience of the Sidekick is just cutting out those small elements. And you can see here that what comes with this Sidekick bundle, not only do you get the cool tag that we cut out, but all of these things that coordinate. So you can take your embossing folder and you can emboss it but then also go in with the coordinating stamp and you can stamp over the top of it. And these stamps are really functional because you can create little journaling lines to use uh, in a planner or if you wanna just add this into a card, you can make gift tags for someone's birthday or anniversary or special occasion, all sorts of these little elements. And I like the fact that with these dies, because I love these number dies, I can go in and I can cut through this tag if I wanna create a little window so I can place this down. Now, normally when it comes to these smaller dies, I just wanna go in and just use a little washi tape and just stick that down just to make sure it doesn't move. But just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna show you that I can place it down. Again, it's just using those two cutting pads, putting that in, start running this through. And once it runs through, you can just keep pulling that cutting pad and just bring it right out of the machine. And you can see here that it cuts. And what's nice is I have this piece, so I can go in and uh, take my die pick and just pick this right out. So I can still use that positive piece that I've cut out of that die, but I also love the fact that it gives you this negative space. And what's cool about the negative space is you can go in and layer it 
over different pattern paper or color cardstock. So using the positive or the negative really gives a lot of versatility to just what comes with the sidekick. But that's not all, because it does a lot of cool things. I mentioned it embosses. Embossing is also very, very simple because you can take that and you can just use your piece of paper. Again, as long as your paper is going to fit the cutting pad, you can die cut it first, or you can just go in with that folder. Now, whenever we emboss, all we do is replace one of those cutting pads with the embossing pad that is also included with the sidekick. So I can place that on, and this could go on the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter how you make the sandwich as long as that's right in between. And put that right into the machine, and same thing. Just gonna run this through. And you can see that it's a very short pass through the whole thing, but you can get that great detail when it comes to embossing. So this could be used with really any of your shapes, any of your dies, or if you just want to emboss a piece of cardstock and use it onto a card or another project. But the thing to understand about the creative convenience, because that's what it's all about, it's creative convenience of using this sidekick. Not only can you use it with what comes with the, the whole bundle, but you can use it with so many other dies that you probably already have. That's really, for me, I, I've designed so many different types of designs, whether they're seasonal or whether they're the framelits that actually work with the stamps. As long as that die is two and a half by four and a half or smaller, you can use it in the sidekick. That is creative convenience. So if you're making a card and maybe you have the bird crazy, you can use this. And even though you have stamped that, these dies are still going to work in the sidekick because of their size. If you have the label set, the label set's really great because you have all of these different size dies, but again, all of them are smaller than two and a half by four and a half. So that's going to allow me to use it. So create a convenience to get those things out and use it with this machine is what it's all about. But remember, that whenever we have thin dies, we have the ability to cut more than just paper. You can cut, of course, thick cardstock. Now that could be manila, watercolor cardstock, all sorts of things like that. Any of your other papers, whether it's craft, pattern, scrapbook paper, any kind of paper you can cut with a thin die, but also textured papers. Those could be wood grain paper, watercolor cardstock, any of those textured papers. Even things like wood veneer. Wood veneer is really great because you wouldn't think that you can cut wood veneer with a thin die, but you can. It cuts it very, very clean. And whether you have this by itself or adhered to cardstock, you can still cut both layers in one pass. Then there's other things, thicker things like cork. Now this happens to be adhesive back cork, and the cork will allow me to just go and run it right through with my thin die and cut it using the sidekick. And then of course, wool felt. Now wool felt, even though it's thicker than fabric, that wool will cut with ease using a thinlet. And it will cut not only in your big shot of your vagabond, but again, also with the sidekick. So everything that you would cut normally with your machine, you can cut with the sidekick. And that to me is what makes this so exciting because it's going to give me that creative convenience that I've got that machine right onto my table, off to the side, and I can use not only what comes with this machine, all of those great dies and folders, but also all of my other shapes that I want to use on my everyday projects. So I hope you get out your Sizzik sidekick and do something creative every day.